Hey everybody, welcome back. The beta patch has finally come out on the Steam branch. I'm very happy to report. We're gonna run some pay to win today. I've been having some fun games. I've been having some good games. I've been having a good time. Let me tell you, I think a bird is okay. And in fact, having two birds, a little bit more advantageous than having one bird, will be the warmish beavers. Uh, don't threaten me with a good time. So what's the... Uh, What's really changed from a meta standpoint? In pay-to-win, um, not as much as in free-to-play, I would say. One thing that's changed is that I actually value the bee more than I've uh, ever valued it, I think, before in my entire life, which is why I've kept it frozen here. But uh, in, in pay-to-win, puppy is actually, like, a lot worse. Um... It's a nifty little draw here, uh, but still playable, I think. And most other things haven't really changed on, on the specific free-to-play side until you get a little bit further on, I think, on the pay-to-win side. I think I've just said free-to-play like 20 times and thus invalidated like the, um, the, the case I was trying to make in the first place. I'm going to put a B on you. We get a nice juicy buff. The ladybug can stick around for a little bit, just to be honest with you. We can now, I think we could take a 3-7 Blowfish. I would freeze a bird, freeze a meat, buy a Ladybug, get ready for a level 2 bird next turn, probably put meat on our Ladybug. I don't know if we're going to build around a, a Blowfish. This is a scary team, man. For, for being so early, that is a nasty team. I don't know what they got going on with that Scampy, but it did some amazing work. Um, we'll definitely do this. The dog now is a tier three, so it's a little late. It's a little late, but it's only like one turn after we would normally get it. So there's some temptation, but I think a hatching chick might actually be a little bit better for us. And honestly, like a, an 8-12 hatching chick is going to be a little bit disgusting. I think we could buy two meats next turn. Sorry, 812 Blowfish. I think I said 812 Hatching Chick. I'm not used to uh, talking. It's a new thing for me. Look at that. Look at that. All right. I knew this squad was going to start winning at some point, but, like, I'm, I'm surprised it took so long. So I think a little, uh, a little meat on you is okay. I've decided maybe let's mix this up a little bit. You're going to get sold before you. So you're first on the chopping block. Do we care for a tropical fish? I don't hate it. If you don't hate it, then prove it. Look at that. I don't love anything here. Salad is kind of like only if we have a rabbit for me personally. I don't love anything here. Although, like truth be told, you could add a B to like many things and feel okay with it. But I, I think we're on the right track. We're on round five. Honestly, I don't really care if we lose this round. It's all about, like, it would be nice to win every round, and if this was an exclusively skill-based game, and you never wanted to deviate from, like, obvious metas, you could probably get it done. But that's not the way I'm choosing to live right now. Thank God you weren't a sheep, man. I would have lost my mind. We're, we're trying to mix it up a little bit. We're trying to have some fun. Uh, so I think we're doing the right thing. You need some garlic. The caterpillar is lovely, but we don't really have anything that scales, uh, that strongly right now. So I, I think if you have a dog or a puppy, you have to take this. Otherwise, we'll just wait for maybe like a, if we live long enough for a T-Rex to show up, then it doesn't really matter what our animals are as long as they get so much stronger. Is it too late to add a rabbit? I'm going to say No. I'm going to sell our tropical fish, even though we, we got it very recently. We also keep in mind, we also got a nice buff here. At 1611, I'm going to, I'm going to keep you where you stand. Let's get a second rabbit. Let's freeze an apple. No, let's not freeze an apple. Let's look for salads. Even better. Okay. We'll probably sell our bird, because we, uh, we need more HP, especially on something like the blowfish. Like, it's doing okay, but we, we could use a little bit more. That's very good. 
I really can't complain about what the Blowfish got done there. Um, we, we'd still love more HP, though. It would make this Blowfish, like, annoying to deal with. So I think we're going to sell our Bluebird, and then we're going to just salad it up. It's going to be great for our Ladybug, too. No complaints. Yes, very nice. Way too late for a puppy. And another ladybug. Okay. So you're going to be... You're a 1017 garlic armor. The only thing is, we only have two units on our squad capable of doing any damage. <laughs> garlic on the blowfish has been insane, though. Um, and I, I think, honestly, we might end up... Uh, yeah, we just wiped the whole squad with just the blowfish. I don't... The blowfish has not changed, by the way. It's just that, you know... The world has changed. I think you got to do it the old-fashioned way. Like, kind of the baby way. Like, roll once here. At the, at the start of your turn, discount shop food by one gold. Freeze me. Combine me. Send a squirrel out there. We want... If, if we could see, like, two salads or, like, a salad and a pear or something like that... This is not... I'm not thrilled to be rolling a 2-5 squirrel. And honestly, their skunk kind of blew me out. This is not good. <laughs> it's not that bad, but, but I think that it's still going to do something for us here. An apple? Okay, it's not that bad. Let's... um, It's still discounted. So let's sell the squirrel. Buy a snail. Sell the snail. Feed you. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, but it's still the HP is still good. I'm gonna say roll me. We're looking for okay one three three three. That's terrible. I honestly think you roll a skunk, and maybe it's if we win this one, I feel pretty good about trying a seal. I guess we can move our ladybug up in the rotation a little bit too, but. If we lose this one, we might not feel so strongly about it. I feel like they have just created a squad that's accidentally incredible for us, which is lovely. I don't really know what the game plan was, but I'm, I'm happy to come out with a dub there. Okay, so Skunk will go. Seal will come out. Probably gets fed. We like to see that. Thank you so much. At some point, we're okay. I, I told you we were gonna do something with it at some point. I told you we were gonna do something with it at some point. Freeze two of them, feed that seal a little bit of a chili pepper, just to just to mix it up. I think blowfish at the front has been so good for us. Okay, next turn we want that level three ladybug, which will create a second level six for us. If it's like a T-Rex, maybe we're popping. I don't know. I'm, we're doing okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that hurts, but... Okay, we're on five wins, but with a good team. Server's been a little up and down, okay? Like, it's, it's the day after the patch. I'm sure lots of people are playing. I mean, I could just alt-tab as we speak right now. And Twitch.tv... Slash directory, slash game, slash super auto pets. Let's let's see what's going on in the super auto pets directory. Yeah, we got we got some gamers playing super auto pets right now for sure. Let's say we got some people uh, online enjoying a little bit of super auto pets gameplay. There we go. It happens. Is growing pains. Okay, can we win round eleven with this squad? In my heart of hearts, I believe the answer is yes. Might as well hydrate here for a second. What would have been nice is to have more HP by not losing those earlier rounds. Because, you know, if... I think we got a pretty... We got like a better than 50% chance of winning our next round. The problem is that, uh, you know, we could easily end up in that like 46% where we lose the round. Let's just, any, anybody on YouTube, is Ludwig playing this on YouTube Gaming right now? Let's go search Twitter, Ludwig. 
Ever since he went to uh, YouTube, he he doesn't uh, he doesn't tweet that much. I'm envious. <laughs> Any second now. Hey, could not connect to the server. Try again later. What the heck? How about I try again now? Let's go. Roll once. Feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feed you. Dude, I'm itching for a turtle microbe run. It, you have my word. If I can force turtle microbe next time, I'm going to do it. This hatching chick has got to go. Like, 5-5, five, five, it doesn't do as much as it used to. Mm. It always sucks when you run into a build that's just you but stronger. Saved. Saved. Okay, so if you got to go, what are we replacing you with? It's a great question. Chocolate's always good. I guess, you know what, we love this first and just see what happens. It's pretty valuable. I think you sell your hatching chick. I know it seems insane. I think you just buy a dang salad, man. Really wanted that one to hit the seal. Just going to be honest with you. I lost a lot of the confidence that I once had. Yeah. That looks pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, they didn't have much past the first couple of units there, but yeah. Honestly, my diagnosis there is we lost too much early, which meant that we had to go a little bit harder in the late game, but that's okay. I like this squad. Freeze a fish. We haven't rolled early game fish in a little bit. Be the offensive organisms. Hope the just just begging the servers to stay good. That's that's all I want to see here. Good servers, please. Good servers. We win these. What do you think? Should we just have a perfect, flawless run? Servers? Don't, don't you crap out on me, man. Okay, great stuff. Honestly, I think... With everything we got here, I think you can straight up just toss a bee on your fish at the back. And feel, like, pretty good about the way that this goes. Fish plus bee? I, dude, honestly, you don't see a honey-glazed fish that much. A lot of pork chops maybe would use it. Maybe like a chicken drumstick you would use a kind of honey glaze for sure. Maybe on ribs. But on fish, you don't see it that much. I think this game is about to shake up the food meta, just like it shook up the gaming meta. I'm gonna be honest, their squad is just cracked. I don't know how they got a 9-4 fish, or 9-4 horse so early, but uh, more power to them. I think early wins, believe it or not, come on, don't, I, I can only keep an idea in my head for like three seconds before I lose it. So I'm going to articulate it here because it's easier to remember the words than it is to remember the idea. I think we combine two fish into one semi-big fish. Buy a tabby cat, get the other fish combined. This leaves us at seven gold. Buy meat Apply it to anything. No, apply it to the tabby cat so that all of our units get buffed on uh, attack. And then our ladybug gets even stronger. Please, please. I can't go through this again, man. I can't go through this again. Let me hydrate. I'm never going back. I'm never going back to firebase errors. We've been through so much together. I'm just going to make a tweet real quick. Can you get... Oh, I, that one, I almost sent it to Ludwig. That would have been unintentional BM. Can you guys sign off Super Auto Pets real quick? I'm recording a video. Okay. D it didn't work? How about now? Let's go, Tabby Cat. Combine. Let's go. It's, it's cracked. It's cracked. Feed me. B at the back is still good. Hatching chick, roll. I thought I was going to buy one for you, but that's... You know what? Give me a second B. This is, this is fine. This is fine. Tabby Cat is... I've come around to it. It's a win early sort of, sort of uh, animal. 
If you buy a tabby cat and you lose, I think you should probably sell it. I bet you thought I was going to say, like, uninstall. I would never be so rude. Roll me once. It's just, it's tough to feed it over and over again, but... Now, I know this, this looks a little wonky, but we got to figure out, like, where we want our bees to be. And I think the... I don't know if this is true. I've really come around, though, to the idea that the closer they are to the back, the better it is for us. Honestly, if you have a hedgehog and a blowfish, I feel like bees serve us very well. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I hate to run a build that's counter to such a fun strategy, though. That, that it brings me a little bit of pain, but it is what it is. How about a worm? How about a round five worm? It's so early. I definitely feel like you can maybe get it going. There are some problems, like, for example, the worm is going to eat the food that we want the tabby cat to have. But I'm just going to level with you. I kind of missed the part where that is my problem. We would like maybe a rabbit, but I think this worm is early enough to make a big difference. How did, what, what the heck is going on, man? Are you seeing, like, the snipe meta we got here already? I can't believe we draw, we drew that. What's going on with this collateral damage meta? It's out of control. Okay, take some garlic. Honestly, like, we're, we're probably going to put the hatching chick on you just because you have garlic. I need better foods, quite frankly. Um, just to be honest, if the hatching chick is going to stay around for a little bit, enjoy being a 6-1 instead of a 1-1. This squad should be half decent. It's doing something. It's not doing nothing. We're at four wins. Four wins, one loss. One early loss. It matters because you can't control an early loss as much. We should, at this point, the tabby cat has got to go. We're going to get worms popping. We're going to roll a caterpillar. Because the caterpillar will scale nicely with the worm. This is this is my design. What do you think about level two bison? I think if you get a level two bison and then buy as many chocolates and caterpillars as you can, maybe there's something to that, man. Okay. It was a little spicy, but we got there. Five wins. Um, so at this point, you're so close to level three, you would actually just be great for a bison to begin with. So let's sell the ladybug with no disrespect. It's been doing some good work for us. Get a rhino. Early rhino is an interesting idea. I'm going to abstain and just keep feeding the worm. It's going to be a 16-16 worm with garlic, an 8-8 bison that's like one chocolate away from really starting to scale much earlier than you would typically expect. Dude, this is kind of popping. Six wins, one loss. Very early. We're on round nine. Caterpillar hit level two. Sushi's fairly likely to work. I love it. Don't expect to see any chocolate, of course. You know what? I'll give you one of those. Still good. It still helps our caterpillar out. Let's freeze some sushi. It's very likely to help us. Let's freeze a pear. A seal is kind of cannibalistic with what we got going on here. And then a poodle, I'm just going to be honest, I was too lazy to do the math. <laughs> I was too lazy to mouse over the units and see if, it would, if that would have been relevant. A lot of people wouldn't have given it to you straight like that, but I'm willing to do it. Okay, so you, got a, you got a good buffalo here, no sweat. Or bison, you got a good bison. It's very important to get a level 2 worm. Makes our caterpillar much, much better. Honestly, I do it that way. Forget the snail, not interested. Forget the hatching chick, it's going to be replaced very shortly. Please don't tell me I've, I've rolled by a fish. I, I don't think I could deal with it. What is this, a fly? All that. Like, that. that's what the fly gave you. It's a sad story. At this point, honestly... 
I mean, for three gold, we could give everything plus two, plus two. But what are we really giving plus two, plus two, two? To you, which we could do with just a single piece of food. To you, which admittedly is relevant, but I think it... Well, honestly, no, I'm stupid. Because we should give it to you. Because then you become a level three, and I'll just sell you. And then sushi's so likely to work. Admittedly, it puts our bison one extra turn away from getting where we'd like them to be. But admittedly, it like literally doesn't matter at all because we just got a T-Rex, which is going to be very helpful for us. A tiger sadly doesn't work with anything that we got going on. But next turn, this bison is going to start to pop. It's just a better... It's me, but stronger. That's terrible. Oh my god, how'd you get your worm popping? <laughs> Anybody else up popping day worm? You gotta go. I mean... Admittedly, this screws our T-Rex. But, level 3 bison? We can't really sell anything to, to make it happen. Dude, our bison, though. Freeze some pizza? Dude, this bison, please, please tell me this is enough. We got an 11.5 T-Rex just weighing us down back here. This kangaroo a little spooky? Not that spooky. Not that spooky. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. That takes us to eight wins. Okay. Certainly, I'd rather have two T-Rexes. Forget that. Forget that. This is also very good. Now, we can't buy anything. <laughs> Freeze this, maybe? Freeze this? It's still spicy territory. But look at how fast our bison caught up to our worm, man. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, the stakes, honestly, those stakes, that's incredible intel. Empty identity? That's just like a nasty team. I, I give you my respect. Okay, servers are looking good. That was eight wins. Not bad, but not as good as I would like. I, I love this early shop here. I love the two things we got off of it. Um, I'll be the proper buttocks. That seems perfect for me. You can take it. You interpret it however you please, basically. Well done. I think I might underrate the cricket ant combo. I think it does more than I than I give it credit for. I'm going to put a fish or a, a bee on our fish first. And I'm going to keep the fish frozen. I don't care so much for a uh, green ladybug. What the heck? I mean, it's, it looked a lot closer than it actually was. I promise you that. Very interesting. Okay. Start me here. I, I, I know you're going to think that I've lost some runs because of the hatching chick. Adam Sandler voice, I disagree. Don't hit the green ladybug. Let's go. That's, that's very important. I'm going to roll an 11-9. We'll buy the fish just to have it out there. I mean, I'm going for a little bit of redemption now. So winning these early rounds would be very helpful for me. Get a little cricket. I'm gonna lose. I dude, we gotta get a hedgehog out there. Like it's it's doing wonderful work. I've been sleeping. We can try a puppy. There is there's a problem with the puppy now. I'm sure you yeah, let's give you more attack. I'm sure you can probably guess what it is, but or maybe you can, I guess. Um because it requires you to hold on to some gold. You always give up some utility by keeping a puppy, and sometimes it can be nefarious. Sometimes the utility that you give up, you don't even notice. You just find yourself losing at the end, and you're like, what am I supposed to do? But now that it costs three gold to get the buff, I think if you don't get a level three puppy early, it falls off a little faster. So let's make let's not make the same mistake. We're not leveling up a hatching chick, even though it gives permanent buff. It's too slow. IMO. We're not leveling up a fish. It's already served its purpose. You've got to go first, though. I don't really care for a bat. 
if I'd known that we were going to get more owls, I probably would have approached this slightly differently. Honestly, like, I can't. I, I can't. We can get one more roll. You need... Why not? You need to take a caterpillar with a puppy. Like, they are the reason that each other exists. I think. Dude, the garlic did such incredible work for us. We're gonna draw, but I think without the garlic, we would have lost big time. So you gotta go. You can come out here now. You're, like, our strongest unit, so we're just giving you some support. Definitely second-guessing myself a little bit, and I'm like, maybe we should have taken a hatching chick. We do want to put garlic on the puppy eventually, which is why I'm freezing the garlic. There's not really any other foods I'd be that eager to, to latch on to right now anyway. Good round. Good round. I gotta admit, we've been going up against some serious gamers here. It's not quite browser patch level, but... It's, uh, it's certainly no joke. Definitely, uh, when you roll a puppy, the game starts moving a lot faster as well. Your decisions uh, sometimes get made for you. This seems okay. Garlic does very well with, with sheep. We'd love to see it. Don't know, don't care. What a name. <laughs> oh, delightful. Okay. I think our fish has to go. Buy a bird. A chicken is very interesting, and it almost feels like we can make it work, but I'm not sold on it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to back off a little bit. We would keep it right here. I like the squad. Level 3 bird. We got a 2516 garlic armor puppy that we really want to hit level 2 because our caterpillar is getting ready to pop. Dude, I got to tell you, I love running into sheep when you got one unit with garlic. Sure, your kangaroo is going to get strong. What did it get you? The real question, I think, is what did it cost you? Everything. Very necessary. I think we do this now. Sell me. Sell me. Buy me. Buy me. Don't sell me yet. You might as well just end the turn and roll with it. I think this is how we can get some... Extra scaling for our puppy and our bird to stay... I don't know. Maybe we would rather just have, like, two scorpions. I think there's a there's a world in which we would rather just have two scorpions. Maybe I'm crazy. This squad is not that spooky to me. We got pretty close to dying, actually, but... <laughs> maybe I should have considered it a little spookier than I did. Okay. A little extra gold. No level ones. Not great. Two level ones. Very great. Buy me. Sell me. Honestly, buy me. Freeze me. Roll me. I think you could do a lot worse than having two extra cows here. This is also the last round where we only have one 4428. Next round, we will have two 40 something something somethings. I don't know where they're going to be at. <laughs> But we're winning. Okay, so the puppy, it turns out... Maybe maybe the reports of its demise have been greatly exaggerated. Sell me. Now I think you should be here. Because you're going to get the buffs anyway. So, I would say forget the chocolate for the time being. Although, hold on. Buy me. No, you lose the chocolate anyway. I was going to, like, chocolate cow you, try to get to a level 2 cow and be, like, really cheeky with it, but the truth of the matter is you don't need the scaling as much as you used to because you're almost at the peak anyway. And a T-Rex kind of does what a dragon does to begin with. So there is a, there's a genuine temptation to just hold it there, I think. Maybe get a T-Rex to send you over the top. We need three wins. We're on round 11. We lose to skunks and snipers, of which there are many, to be frank. But this is a really strong squad for where we're at, metagame-wise. And we got a lot of lives to play with. Sell me. Buy me. I think we can wait on the garlic. Okay. 
or on the melon, I mean to say. I don't know. I think now the next sale will actually be the dragon, which would allow us to fit in another unit like maybe a skunk onto our squad just to round out our chances a little bit more nicely. Um, it's pretty good, man. Like we, oh, I'm saving the goal for the T-Rex, not for the puppy. That's right. I was mad at myself for a moment. This is a, it's a nasty squad. No questions there. That being said, they ran out of gas. What can you say? Definitely another level on the T-Rex is cracked. But even before that, with so much room to play with, you could just sell a dragon, buy a second T-Rex, and just hold. Now, admittedly, this is not that good. It's mostly T-Rexes buffing each other and also our bird, which is probably unlikely to be the most relevant thing in the world, but it, it, could, it could have more relevancy than anticipated, or it could matter literally 0% because we just got 10 wins. Okay. Feeling better. They must have patched out the Melvins that were keeping us around five wins. It felt good. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. Loving the beta patch, mixing it up a little bit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.